Hello everyone, welcome to Lutu Tech channel. My name is Lung Cheng. Today, I will discover what is inside this Dell XPS 179700 and which parts that we can upgrade and when we choose the parts to buy to upgrade it. So what we need to know and also we will take a look at the vapor chamber hissing. Let's do it. First of all, we need to take eight screws right here out. They are star shape. Next, we will take the bottom cover out and your first time doing this will be very difficult. You will find something thin like this, like uh, some business card or something like that. And then you will like uh, uh, try to separate it. It can take up to 10 minutes to open it. But like uh, your second time or like uh, the third time doing this will be very easy. All right, under the hood, we have the six cells battery, 97 watt hours, the Wi Fi card, Killer AX 1650 plus Bluetooth 5.1. This card sold on board, so you cannot replace it. And then we have one M2 slot, it has hissing and screw already. Another M2 slot, 2 DD4 RAM slot with hissing, each slot support up to 32 gigs of RAM and 29 33 megahertz, two fans and a vapor chamber here same for CPU and GPU. The good thing is like uh, each slot of RAM and M2 has hissing. The M2 SSD slot on the left side supports PC SSD only, so SATA SSD will be not recognized if you put it here. It also supports 80mm length SSD only. The good news is the M2 SSD slot on the right side supports both PC SSD and SATA SSD. For the memory slot, you can put in each slot up to 32 gig of RAM. The speed is limited up to 2933 MHz and no XP and no SMP profile supported. RAM replacement process is very easy. You just pop it out from the slot. Put the new one in until you hear the click sound. The right side SSD slot is the main slot. So if you want to replace or upgrade it, you need a Philips screwdriver. Now if you want to replace the SSD, the process will be like this. First, we need to unscrew these two Phillips screws right here. Take the SSD out, take the hissing out to easier put the new one in. Then we screw them back. Alright, now we will examine the vapor chamber hissing. So we need to unscrew these six Phillips screw to take the vapor chamber out. Alright, now we slowly take it out and you can see that the vapor chamber is thin. 
and actually it's really light because like this is my second time open it and the first time I applied the liquid metal already there was a lot of thermal paste when I opened it the first time they did a good job on this however I still prefer to replace it with the liquid metal there are also thermal pad for these chips actually I doubt about the performance of the vapor chamber that like the SPS 179700 has because like uh, it's very lightweight and uh, very thin I will do a lot of review to see how good performance it is and that's it I hope you guys can save a bunch of money to upgrade by yourself. The next video will be an in-depth review of this laptop. Please support me by liking my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you and see you guys again.